With the loss of pass rusher Aiden Hutchinson, the Detroit Lions Super Bowl aspirations took a huge hit going into week seven. And with him being lost for the year, they're going to have to do something. Now, Dan Campbell said that he believes in the team, but he knows that Brad Holmes is always trying to make the the team better and no doubt is on the phone. He also mentioned what it would take for the Detroit Lions to trade from a, for a guy. How is he against the run? He mentioned specific heights and weights and what the capital would be to that they would have to give up for him. And there's only one man, really, that this fan base wants beyond above it all else, and that is Max Crosby. Now, I'm not sure what the fascination is with him as far as is it his ties to Michigan or his just persona as a whole. Now, I caught him the, the, the thug Aiden Hutchinson. That, I caught him that. And I didn't mean any disrespect by it, but just the, the fact that they're almost the same player but from different sides. You know, I, I made a joke. I said, uh, Max is from the hood. Aiden's from the suburbs. Max went to public school. Aiden went to private school. I'm just being funny. But the reason I, I said that, because it, he's almost like a, a, a spitting image of Aiden Hutchinson when it comes to the motor. It could be, like I said, you guys could want him because of the connection made um, with the city, just his swag. Or it could be because he reminds you of somebody that, he, that we already have. The motor on Max Crosby is very similar to Aiden Hutchinson. He, he's like an older version of Aiden Hutchinson. I couldn't imagine them being on opposite sides of each other. And with Reader and Aline McNeil in the middle, what defensive offensive lines would have to fear? Like we could go from zero to hero overnight as far as that defensive line is concerned. Because believe it or not, it is a point of contention for this team. This team, and that's with DJ Reader. The, the defensive line is not our, our strongest point at this point, especially now that Hutch is gone. And don't forget, we've lost our two starting bookie and pass rushers with Marcus Davenport and Elaine McNeil. I'm sorry, and uh, Aiden Hutchinson. Now, we are talking about my mind was, was going forward. We're talking about something, and this is where this, this video comes in. The bold trade proposal for Max Crosby. Now, before we, I have not seen this. I wanted to see it with you guys in real time so you could get my authentic reaction. Before we look at this, because I know it's, I know it's ridiculous, but I want to get your opinion and, and react to this together. Before we go forward, I want you to think about what it takes to win. And I had, a, I have a video dropping tomorrow that was supposed to come out tonight that is talking about the foundation of this team and how Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell have built it and they built it right. And they haven't made any splash moves during free agency. As much as I wanted them to, they have not done that. The splashiest thing they probably did was David Montgomery, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, Cam Sutton at the time, those guys. We haven't really done anything. You build the foundation of a team through the draft, and you can plug in. I'm not asking you to go and sign every big name free agent, but sometimes you got to think outside the box. The L.A. Rams had to trade for Matthew Stafford. They were willing to trade for a 33-year-old quarterback because they thought he was the missing piece. They already had Odell Beckham, I believe, at the time, and they wind up getting Von Odell Beckham and Von Miller. I can't remember. I think they had they brought one of them in and had one of them in the season, and, and they had Aaron Donald as well, right? So this team, and, and the pushback that I get is, well, Brad is trying to build – for multiple years. And I understand that. And I think he's done just that. But I think as Lions fans, I think that we are putting the carriage before the horse, as they say. We have not won anything. We have not been anywhere. We are just getting started. And the way that Brad and Dan have built through the draft, we can make a move, a powerhouse move, and still have the future and not sell the farm, so to speak. Right? Now, the Rams were the worst team the next year after the Super Bowl. But the team, the year after that, they wind up making the playoffs. So if we did something like this, again, I haven't seen it. If we did something like this, that doesn't mean that Brad isn't trying to win multiple Super Bowls. But I asked Detroit Lions fans this. What has given you, what has given you the, to me, I'm, I'm going to use this word, audacity. You build in for multiple, you, you already skipped the dynasty. And we haven't won one. So in order to get to a dynasty, you got to start with one. And then you have to win multiple in a short time span. That is where a dynasty comes from. So with all that groundwork laid, let's take a look at 
this proposed trade from the guys over at SI.com. You might know them as Detroit Sports Podcast on Twitter. Again, I have not seen this, so we're going to look at it together. Here we go. This is what they would suggest that it would take for Max Crosby. Says the cost would not be cheap as players at Max at Crosby's position are held in high demand. Crosby has two more seasons of team control as well. He is and as he is under contract through 2026. Additionally, Raiders Mark uh, owner Mark Davis said that he the team is not looking to deal with him or deal him. Well, I know that that is they already said that that's that's basically trash. You can't believe a word this guy says. Now, you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to read it because I don't want to spoil the trade. It says, as a result, the Lions would have to make an offer the Raiders simply could not refuse. Here is our take it or leave it trade proposal to try to land Max Crosby to Detroit. Here we go. And what it would take to get Max Crosby to Detroit is this. The Detroit Lions get Max Crosby and a 2025 third round pick. The Raiders will get the 2025 first round pick, 2020. Uh, six first round pick, 2025 fourth round pick, and quarterback Hendon Hooker. Okay, give me a moment. I say, oh my God, wow. The 2025 first, 2026 first, I'm not tripping about, fourth round pick and quarterback Hendon Hooker. I'm about to break your heart. I do it. I do it. I do it. I would see... I do that. Hendon Hooker is not going to play for the Detroit Lions. Max Crosby is 28 years old. I believe he is. 28 years old. Hendon Hooker is not going to play. We could elevate Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm is probably just as capable of Hendon Hooker, uh, uh, as Hendon Hooker at winning games. We saw that. He was a he, he has more professional snaps than Hendon Hooker. Now, I'm not just saying that because I don't. Hendon Hooker is 26, 27 years old. Jared Goff is the quarterback for the foreseeable future. He is not going to take. He's not going to take over. A lot of you guys think he's going to take over. I don't think he does. He could three years down the line. But by that time, we got one. You know, as a matter of fact, we got not one, not two, not three, not. Uh, we got at least one Super Bowl, right? So let's go back. Let's look at it again. Lions get. Max Crosby and a 2025 third round pick because we don't have one. We don't have one. They would get next year's first round pick, the 2026 first round pick. So we talking about staff. So we're talking about basically Stafford. This is instead of a third round pick, it's a fourth round pick. And instead of Jared Goff, it's Hendon Hooker. Maybe that's why they put Hendon Hooker in here. Now, what I would try to do, I would try to sweeten the pot. Maybe not give Hendon Hooker and give James Houston and somebody else. Maybe throw a Jamar Jefferson in there. I would be like, listen, go through the roster and see. Pick your, you know, who you fan? Who do you fancy? Go through our roster, see who do you who do you fancy? You 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 put through a name out there. I'll tell you if it's plausible or not. I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that. I've said. Numerous times. A lot of you guys did not believe that the Detroit Lions were ready to wind up having, be able to give up our first round picks. As a matter of fact, I made a video about is the Detroit Lions, are the Detroit Lions ready to give up first round picks? This was right around the trade deadline of last year. And maybe we weren't ready last year. But this year is whole a whole lot different. A whole lot different. Our team is better in multiple ways. So at a point, there's a point. I mean, and, and and just go back to the Rams. The Rams did it. They won. And I'm sorry, Detroit Lions fans, but as a team who's never won anything, a team who, who's never been to the Super Bowl, who are we to say, well, we don't want just one. We're trying to build for a dynasty. You got to win one first. Now, again, I'm not saying sell the farm. I'm not saying pull a uh, Ricky Williams where you give up the whole draft for one player. I'm saying, in order to get to a dynasty, we got to we gotta win one at first. There have been other teams that have made this, this move. And also, while those first-round picks are being drafted, presumably late in the drafts, we have a guy, that same guy is on our team that we drafted for for those same years. So 2025, he's still on our team. 2026, he's still on our team. If we were to do that, what would we have for next year? So we would give up. 
2025 first, six first, a fourth next year, and and we would get a third next year. So that would mean that the Detroit Lions, right now, we have pick number 28. So we wouldn't have pick number 28. We would have 60. Now, of course, this is based on our current position. We would then get the Raiders' third-round pick. We would give up our fifth-round pick. Are you kidding? Did I read that right? Yeah. Are you kidding? So we don't have, we would pick 60. We would pick wherever the Raiders are, 118, 129. Then we wouldn't pick again until 199. Please. I'm taking that all day, every day. And again, like I said, Hayden Hooker is not going to see the field. I'm telling you, I do not see the quarterback. Matter of fact, I'm about to break your heart. Jared Goff, his contract is longer than Hendon Hooker. So they would have to cut Jared Goff in order to go with Hendon Hooker or re-sign Hendon Hooker and, and ditch Jared Goff when his contract is over. And if we go back to 2021, Brad Holmes, if y'all trust him, if y'all truly say trust the process, okay, like y'all tell me to do, you got to be able to trust that Brad Holmes can do his thing. Let me remind you. He went into the 2021 NFL draft with five draft picks. Matt Patricia had given up the sixth, the sixth round pick for Everson Griffin. Remember him? He came in, had two and a half, three and a half, six sacks for the Lions. We sucked, but he had he did his part. Shout out to EG, man. He took those five picks, finagled them to seven, if I'm not mistaken. Out of those seven, he took Amon Ross St. Brown. He took Panay Sewell. He took Derek Barnes and others. So if you really trust that Brad Holmes could find diamonds in the rough, you would trust this. So for me, I'm doing this. I do not believe that Hendon Hooker is going to see the field. Jared Goff's contract is outlasting him at this moment. He's going to be, right now, Jared Goff, unless he's cut, Hendon only has, he's on year two of four. He has two and a half years left. Jared Goff will be here long after Hendon Hooker, unless they extend or re-sign Hendon after his contract is up. So we could either roll with Jake Fromm or go with somebody else. Shout out to the guys at SI, Detroit Lions, Detroit Lions podcast. Is this something you would be willing to do? I'm going to say yes. And I'll leave you with this. We can still get a pass rusher in the second round. Max Crosby was a fourth round pick. He was a fourth round pick. Trey Hendrickson, not a first round pick. For every Miles Garrett and Trayvon Walker, you have a Max Crosby and a Trey Hendrickson. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Again, thank you guys so much for 23,000. We are on our way to 23.2. I have not forgotten about the giveaways. They are still happening. I'm just trying to wait for those alternate mini helmets to come in for Green Gridiron to get back in stock so I can pick up a few because I want to add those to the collection. So if this is not your first time here, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. We got a lot of more NFL season, and we're going to have a good time as we push for the Super Bowl, our first one ever. And Max Crosby not only helps this year, next year and the year after that, and if you truly think that Brad Holmes, I mean, it's been four years and all but one draft pick is on our on our team. So let me know. This channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You can be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.